This is a ZX2051, ZX2051 AM FM radio. Uh, this is one of those Chinese kit radios from banggood.com and I think this is the last item that I received from banggood.com to build. Um, so in order to fulfill my commitment, I must Terzman Minish Flop Tarz Vorzel Kurz Bertel Ferzel Barvel. Now for those of you who are sick of me watching these videos making these radios, uh, I'm also today going to try and knock out a couple repair videos. We're going to try and get this vintage Everplay rechargeable AM only radio to work and fix this vintage Harman Kardon Citation 12 stereophonic power amplifier. So I've kind of already looked at this. I haven't really looked at that. The first thing I want to do is I want to make a video on this and so I'll be done with it. And this right here says Year of the Moon Quality Assurance. Alright, so here are the contents and I will say that this does look like it's going to be a little bit more uh, intensive than the I, uh, the uh, AM radios I built, the red one and the uh, green one. So let me sort this stuff out and we'll have a quick look. So sorting this stuff out, this this can says 465 on it and this one here says ZX and then it's got some characters and I decided to scan it and Google comes up with China Daily News. Now I don't know maybe it does say China Daily News on it. I don't know. Maybe that's what this is supposed to be used for to listen to China Daily News. Anyway I think this might be what they call direct conversion receiver, which means it really doesn't have an IF, and these don't work real well. They have images all over the place. They're super efficient and super sensitive, but as far as selectivity and adjacent channel rejection and all that, it's pretty bad. So I guess what I need to do is figure all this out. Um, interesting it says 455 kilohertz there and it says 465 here so there's gonna be a lot to this and soldering that IC onto there without the appropriate surface mount oven type soldering gear is gonna be pretty interesting but here's a schematic So, yeah, it really doesn't have an IF strip that I can see here. It's got some filters. I wonder if that's the oscillator. Wow, the audio amp is also in, inside the uh, chip. One, one package does everything. There's a 10.7 megahertz filter. So it must have some type of conversion. Okay, there it is in position. I'm gonna just use some 20 thousandths lead alloy solder, and I'm gonna just use this 35 watt old school Weller soldering iron. And I've got a magnifying glass on my head, and I'm just gonna Try and do it. All right, that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought. In fact, that went in there pretty easy. Let's see if I can take a close-up look. All right, I don't know how that's going to look. All right, now I'll just start loading the rest of the parts up on the other side. So in placing these transformers you have red and black and on here you have 
the character uh, there and there and you use that you use a resistor color code chart to convert translate so we know it's black brown red so that thing is red that thing is red so we know where red goes all right I'm getting this thing assembled and I've run into one snag I'm missing a 15 picofarad capacitor that goes right there C2 and there's two 15s on here I mean sorry 30 picofarad I'm missing a 30 picofarad C1 and C2 I'm missing one of the two of those and I have looked over everything here over and over and over and over and I just poured those parts right here so I have been searching this thing and all I can say is I believe the moon was not full the day they packed this thing because it is not here anyway um, the other thing I got to figure out is what direction this goes in because this can't this one side of this has to be for the 10.7 or the FM and the other side has to be for the AM not 10.7 so I'm just so distraught over this missing capacitor I think I'm gonna have a meltdown and be triggered and have to go hide in my safe space for a little while missing clip retake there's numbers on top of the capacitor here C1, C2, C3, C4 can't really see them but they're right there and they line up with C1, C2, C3, and C4 on the board. And also I use some good silicone, the the alter gray to glue the speaker down. And I also glued uh, the selector switch on. Okay, here's another problem. This is broken off, which is one of the two battery holders. And what holds this speaker in? What what hardware holds this in? I'm not finding any hardware that holds this in so I'm not quite what is oh the that's for the antenna okay I get that so we got a broken case here a missing 30 picopuff capacitor and I would say this about this thing too this is uh, I would almost say this is advanced level assembly um, so if you want a challenge, maybe buy two or three of these and hopefully you'd be able to build one good one. They're only like five bucks a piece. Uh, the other thing I'm not happy with is the, you see that little orange filter thing there? The, the holes weren't drilled properly on that, so there's a lot of lead stress kind of pulling the leads apart, which is not, not good. So, um... I'd like to just get this thing to work at this point. So, missing capacitor, broken case so far, and no apparent way to fasten the speaker in, unless I'm just being a total moron here. All right, three volt lithium battery, since the battery connector here is broken, uh, I think I've got all of this together. As far as the 30 picofarad capacitor, this is an old television tuner. I found what I believe is a 28, uh, which is that big one right there that says 28 on it. The one that's five times bigger than all the other ones here. And I haven't powered it up. I haven't installed the LED because I don't know what direction it goes, but here we go. Well, that's promising. Hey.
I have no idea how to align this at all. None whatsoever. No clue how to align it. But it works right out of the box. I mean, my first assembly, it works. I didn't have to go over anything. That's pretty good. It has like zero audio output power though, but what would you expect from that chip? All right, let me try and get it further together. You think I'm crying normally? Check this out. Check out the fin fit and finish of the AM FM switch. And I'll admit I just threw this together. I'm not I'm not trying to make it real nice. Sounds like I have it aligned right. Picking up the right content. Welcome back, and if you're just tuning in, then you missed Larry the Stock Doctor Jacobson. Be sure your budget's protected. So, FM works decent, but if you want a good AM kit radio, this one definitely doesn't have KNX spread all across the band. As you can hear with this one, So, this one has no selectivity at all. It's just, everything is smeared all over everywhere. That's right. Yep, that's that's there it is right there in the social programming. I'm all, I'm always ready for a war again. Hey, what do you think they're preparing us for? Maybe something Mr. Bolton has in mind. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'm done with the Banggood stuff. 
uh, hope you didn't I hope you have enjoyed it maybe I could learn to talk today and um, ZX 2051 I would much rather recommend this one as far as performance goes this was a complicated build if you're looking for something that's a challenge that's cheap a five dollar Saturday wasted Saturday something to learn electronics this is definitely more challenging to me than this this I could align this I don't know how to align I tried to align the screws on the back of the tuning capacitor to position the FM and AM dial and the tuning capacitor is so crappy that uh, you know also the fit and finish really leave something to be desired here they give you these two screws which I assume are supposed to go in here and in here to hold the speaker down but they don't even get near the speaker there's no clips like the little clips that some of these radios have that press on the speaker those are not there but anyway uh, missing capacitor poor fit and finish uh, broken battery terminal you want to have a look at it I'll sweep my work here if you're working on one of these and struggling with it maybe these two filters the holes weren't drilled real well but other than that it has a lot of components and is fairly complex to assemble and I was lucky it worked first try anyway uh, thanks for watching